There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him... Maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically, like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kinman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new stem? We need stem to send the signal to take Mobius down. 
When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend, until they stab you in the back. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Thank you. 
Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Hoffman, you here? Another one of these. What happened here? safe house to go to a restricted area of the marrow? That doesn't sound like him.
Looks like they had extra security for this place. These tanks. What's this about? through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Entry denied. No Unity Cerebro chip detected. Damn it.
Our efforts have been in vain. The core escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. They're everywhere now. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already, and they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. 
We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. I'm sorry. What do we have here? If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Okay, let's see what happens. God, he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab.
Are these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? Looks like it goes down forever. Coming. I gotta get out of here.
is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? Scanning for Unity Cerebral Chip. Please wait. Unity Cerebral Chip detected. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Just listen. Listen. His voice will come. You've got to resist him. Hoffman, stand back. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Get in 
getting too hot in here. Gotta put the flames out. That's it! I'm done playing with you! All you want. You can't get out of here. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Flames consume you. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. Thank you, S Sebastian. Uh, finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. Y you've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He phase shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? 
How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but... You heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts... Yes, Master. Of course. The machine is operating as it should.
Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now beginning to understand his M.O. Hmm. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. The bastard smooth-talked himself right into the middle of the plan, just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere, hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before, you don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. 
If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Thanks, Kitty. I see you're in need of my services again. You need my assistance again. I do. I could use some information most of all. I sense that. But it's all I can sense at this juncture. What do you mean? There's something here that's making things murky for me. For everyone in here. Although there aren't many left in here to clear things up for. You're one of the last. But for how long? That's... ominous. Let's get you taken care of, shall we? There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills.
Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. What is it? I'm not totally sure, but it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian, I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure? Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... <sighs> tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and... If you disobey, when Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. <coughs> Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos, you refuse to step into the darkness, so you try to bring me to the light. Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. 
Not like you. She tried to tell you. But you were too stupid to listen. No. No. No, this isn't right. Myrus is seeing where you fail. You refused to listen. You lost them both. And then became lost yourself. You know anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission.
Precious daughter, isn't this what you wanted? Dad, you let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No, please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. come true. Together we can take Lily from my life. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. No. It will take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? You sh shot me, Sebastian. Why? No, no. Come on, man. Let me get you out of here. get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've, right? You've been working too working hard. Too hard. It's, making it's making you making delirious. delirious. Uh, Myra? Torres, where... I'm home. How did I... <laughs> Lily's realm. Just the way it used to be. I wish it had stayed.
Lily's drawings. God, I hope she still has some of that innocence after all this. I buried myself in work so hard. If I could only get some of that time back, I'd spend it with them. That letter, Myra's last communication, it was hidden with her files. It sounded so crazy at the time, but I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you. From either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do... It's up to you to finish what I started. Please. Find justice for Lily, and for me. I love you with all of my heart, Myra. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. You've endured so much, all this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me, but I didn't believe you. And now I'm so messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I filled everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing... It's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, you can save her. There are too many forces against you. You have to stay strong. Don't let the past defeat you. I forgive you. And Lily will too. But the most important thing... ...is that you forgive yourself. Forgive... ...yourself.
she's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this, but I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way.